Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Angela. So, I saw this tag flying around, and I wasn't going to do it. And then I saw Amethyst Ascension do it. And I was like, I gotta do this tag now. I don't know why. Uh, but usually I see her tags before I see the person that actually did the tag. <laughs> um, the last few tags I've done, I've seen hers before anybody else's. But it's from Sylvain. Um... And it's a VR uh, sinful decks, seven deadly, seven decks for deadly sins. Uh, VR to Sylvain is what we're doing here. So I have more than seven decks, <laughs> but because I have a couple to have a couple. Uh, but anyway, let's get started. It's the seven deadly sins um, using tarot. So without further ado, let me make this brighter here. We are going with, number one is Pride, a deck you purchased or used for flexing. And I don't know, I don't, I didn't buy any of my decks so that I could show it off and flex it and be like, oh, I have this deck. But I do have one deck in particular that as soon as I saw this came comes to mind. Um, and that is my Encore Tarot by Chero Marchetti and, um... I've talked about this deck at nauseum at times. It is a beautiful deck. Magnetic Closure. I am a, a Chero Marchetti fan. The gilding is... It looks rugged in the on camera, but it's really not. Um, it's really not moved. Um, there are the backs. The card stock is... Eh, it's it's alright. Um, but I love the love the deck. This is the reason I bought this deck. This, well, among so many other cards. This moon card is the epitome of a moon card to me. It's, I almost feel jealous that she's got this, she's unabashedly naked to the world, showing herself, I have nothing to hide. I'm, 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 and it to me is the opposite of what we think of the moon card as there's hidden things or she's bearing it all. And I love that in this card. Besides the fact that it is stunning. <laughs> um, but there are so many other cards in this deck that are just uh, a fantastic as well. And it, it does come with um, different borders. The uh, majors have a gray border. The swords are blue bordered. The pentacles are green, or coins are green bordered. Cups are this fall looking tan. Um, wands are fire red. But this gore this deck is gorgeous. It is the deck I've sh probably showed off the most of all the decks I have. Just because for a long time when I first got it, I couldn't stop showing it. I mean, look how gorgeous that is. It is gorgeous. Um, and I've got a, I'm actually bought his most recent deck back at the beginning of October. I thought it would be here by the end of November. I'm still waiting on it. So I haven't given up hope, but look at that Ace of Coins. Just gorgeous. But it's gorgeous. Breathtaking. Beautiful. Whatever you want to call it. This is that deck that if we're comparing prettiness, I have to pull it out. I have to pull the Encore Tarot out. Because <laughs> it's stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning deck. So yeah, that was Pride. A deck you purchased or used for flexing. And I don't use it for flexing, but I quite often do use it to show it off. Because it's gorgeous. So, number two, Greed. A deck you don't share with anyone or only use for yourself. <laughs> I have two decks for this. And it's not for the reasons that you think. Any deck I have, people are more than welcome to um, pick to be used for a reading. I don't let people touch my decks, so that's kind of a non-starter for me. Um, if you want to touch the deck, I, I, I'm, I'm going to probably be averse to touching any of my decks. But I'm not averse to using any of the decks I have just because... If I'm getting deep messages from it, someone else can get a deep message from it as well. So I'm not going to 
keep someone else from getting a deep message because I feel more protective over a certain deck. Um, I do have my True Black Tarot here. It's with a little book. True Black. Just because it is so thick, so hard to shuffle, I would not pull this out for readings at all. Um, because we'd be here all day just trying to get a couple cards out because it's that hard to shuffle. Um, and it's still bent. People st have done tips and stuff on how to unbend it. I've never been able to bend it back. So, but, I mean, it's a stunning deck. Otherwise. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a stunning, stunning, stunning deck. Um, it's just too hard to shuffle for me. It's got one of, be one of the best death cards I've ever seen in it. Which I probably won't be able to find now. Uh, it's a stunning, stunning deck. It's just, it's so hard for me to shuffle. And I have my arthritis. It's getting worse in my hands and my fingers. And um, it, it's just, look at that. Um, yeah. Oh, there it is. Be one of the best death cards I've ever seen. Look how beautiful. Stunning. Stunning. <laughs> So that is the True Black Tarot, and it's not because I, I'm overprotective of it. It's just because it's too hard to shuffle uh, for me. And then the other one is the New Era Elements Tarot, just because I don't want anybody offended, because this deck is super dark. It's super, um, this is the backs. Um, it's super dark. There's some cards in it that may be triggering for people. And I wouldn't want them to be in paying me for a reading or coming to me for a reading and see something like that. And they had a relative just die of an overdose. I mean, that would be horrifying um, for me and for them. And I don't think that the public at large could handle this deck, <laughs> honestly, because it's dark and it's deep and it's it hits you hard. Um, yeah, I don't know that it's a deck that I would, um, just because it's, it's, I don't know the reactions of people and I don't want to offend somebody by pulling this out like the devil card here. Like, it's just too, it can be a offensive to somebody and I don't, I wouldn't want somebody to be overwhelmed or offended by a deck I have. So for that reason, those two will probably never be showed to other people. So, number three, Wrath, a deck you're angry at. And the only deck, if you've been watching my channel, I made a box for it because the tuck box that came in was crap, is the Radiant Rider Waite Smith. <sighs> this is the first deck I ever bought. I edged it in yellow thinking, oh, we're going to bond now. No, it never happened. Um, I do have it in order because I'm going through... Um, Uh, going back and re-watching, um, uh, oh my gosh, Lisa Pappas, um, intro into, um, beginning tarot, um, so it's got some keywords and stuff on it, but this is the first deck I ever bought, I never connected with it, the, the longer I didn't connect with it, and the more I read with other things, the the angrier I got at this deck. And it's at the point now where I'm literally just using it for teaching purposes. Um, I won't get rid of it just because it's my reminder to only buy things that are going to benefit me. And this just never sat with me at all. Never did. I still don't read with it. I know what it means now because I have learned tarot, but this one... <laughs> I just don't, we don't get along with it. And I think I put so much negative energy into it now that I'm just like, ugh, when I touch it. So I just use it for, like, relearning stuff. So that's my wrath deck. That's the deck I don't get along with. We will never see eye to eye, and it's, it's just, that's the way it goes. So Envy, a deck you wanted because other people have it. Sorry, I took a drink. I saw this in 2020, I think. 
Yeah. And I even made a patch for it. I made the patch way too big for it. But the patch kind of goes with the colors a little. But this is the Triumphy De La Luna Paradoxical Rose Edition. Um, I just recently got this. It's gorgeous by Patrick Valenza. Stunner of a deck. Um, just stunning. It's beautiful. I was never tempted to read with Marseille. This is the first deck I ever saw that was a Marseille deck. And I'm like, hmm, maybe I should get that. Just because it is so dang beautiful. And I saw it on... Oh, we did a majors only thing uh, in 2020. I forgot who... Um, look at that. Just stunning. I forgot who did the tag, but I followed the tag and did majors only. And somebody had this deck in there. I'm like, what is that deck? And uh, I've been wanting it, been wanting it, been wanting it. And then um, he sold out of it. <laughs> and then I messaged him. I was like, do you have any more that's beat up that you're not going to sell? I'll take it. And he's like, I have one left that's the deluxe edition and I will sell it to you. And I was like, okay. So I got the last Triumph de la Luna Rose Edition, Paradoxical Rose. So that is my deck that I saw because other people had it. I love it. I cherish it. It's never leaving my connection collection. It's so beautiful. I could just sit and stare at it all day. Um, but yeah, I wanted it because other people had it, but it was never going to not be on my list until I had it. So I'm glad I have it. So next we have, oh, that was Envy, a deck you wanted because other people have it. So Lust, a deck you like for aesthetic reasons. And I will tell you, I did a lot of thinking on this deck. I have three decks here. They all have the same cardstock. And that's why I chose these three decks. But they're also gorgeous. Never mind that two of them, or all three of them have... A special gilding and the gilding is coming off all three decks <laughs> they're still stunning this one is the super Linaris. gildings coming off here it's like this uh, rose beautiful beautiful though beautiful deck um, this is a Kickstarter there's now a second edition out on her um, Etsy page but I can't see myself buying that one because the backs are different. That's the only thing that's different, I think. Um, I just can't see myself buying it again for a second just for the backs. Even though the new backs are better than these. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love, love, love. It's so beautiful and I rarely use it anymore. I don't know why, but it's... I pulled it out the other day and I'm like, it's gorgeous. Plus, hear that? It's so slidey and so tactile on each other. And look at that. That's one of the reasons I bought this deck was that uh, that Six of Swords. And then look at this Three of Wands. Like, look at the water. It's just stunning. Uh, stunning. I'm looking for the reason I bought this. This death card is everything. Everything. There's Lady Standing here, the New Beginnings. Uh, it's everything. I love this Ten of Wands. It's the first time I've seen a Ten of Wands where it's like, she is she's willingly taking up this burden to provide for her family and i love that love it love it love it so hard and then we got the reason i bought this deck this hierophant is the most beautiful hierophant i've ever seen on any card of any deck it's gorgeous and that's the super lunaris tarot <laughs> um and then we got again the bone stone and earth flesh tarot gorgeous 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 deck it's got the same cardstock exact cardstock as the one i just showed you the red gilding's coming off but i don't care because anatorian is an artist of her time man it's just it's deep and it's beautiful and it's gorgeous and it's got this sliding of feel effect this tactile feeling again and the cards are deep like this four of pentacles it show me a different way to read this she's wearing all of her jewelry she'd rather die in this hovel she's reaching out to the life she just can't let go of what she's got 
Um, and it just blew my mind when I first got this deck. And I'm just so excited. I mean, look at that. Ace of Cups. Just, I could go on and on and on about this deck all day. But I won't because I got another card. Another few decks. The Chariot. First Chariot I've ever connected with. It is my soul card. It is gorgeous. This death card. Another gorgeous death card. Just amazing. Uh, amazing deck. It is my going into depth year kind of this is kind of the I'm di I'm dove deep with this deck this year that's what I'm trying to say <laughs> and then we have the last one journey of the sacred bee it, the exact again same card stock they're just bigger cards but you still hear this slidiness and then it also has a teal metallic gilding gorgeous the cards stunning they have keywords i don't care um even if they had borders i probably wouldn't care because this deck is so deep and so wonderful and so beautiful uh, and it's got that slidey effect that i like these three decks have the best i i'm like thinking when i was looking at this i'm like yeah there's so many out there that have good cardstock quality these three have the best cardstock quality if i'm being truly honest and it doesn't hurt that they are stunning all three decks are just stunning stunningly beautiful i'm trying to find I'm trying to find it they're just stunning 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 cards yeah this five of pentacles where usually you see the the people out in the cold the door is shut the lights on and the door is open here. That just blows my mind. That is it me keeping me from going from entering? That's that's crazy. Crazy. <laughs> crazy. So that is the lust. Now we have gluttony, a deck you really don't need, didn't need, but purchased anyway. And we got these were simply because they were gorgeous. I did not need these decks. This is the Forest Creatures Tarot, limited edition, humongous cards. I don't care. They're beautiful, stunning, stunning cards. Stunning. Stunning cards. And I'm almost out of time here, so let me... That is the Forest Creatures. And then I have... the elemental wisdom tarot again only bought these because they're freaking beautiful didn't need them but i couldn't imagine them not in my collection and this has a uh, a silk mat oh, it's gorgeous 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 look at that Ugh. gorgeous decks gorgeous gorgeous look at that's my one of the favorite cards in there. Two of Pentacles. It's stunning. Stunning. Stunning deck. That's the reason I bought this deck. The Lovers. Gorgeous. So those are my two Lust decks. Uh, I mean, no, that's my Gluttony deck. A deck you really didn't need but purchased anyway. So we're on to the last one, Sloth. A deck you use when you feel lazy. And I, I mean, everybody said the same thing, right? Um, and I just had it. Everybody said the same thing. It'd be an RWS deck, right? Because this one I got off Etsy. If I remember, I'll post the link below. There's a little white book. But it's an all-plastic deck. It's purple in the back. It has gorgeous. It's got paint splatter on it. And if I'm going to feel lazy, I'm going to do this lazy deck. And it's a typical RWS, just prettier. With some paint splatter on it. But you can also look at this prompt another way. I, when you feel lazy, you feel like slowing down. So, a deck that will make you slow down and really take time to look through, look through everything, to me, would be the new chapter tarot. I love this deck. Uh, gorgeous, gorgeous, stunning. It makes you slow down. It makes you think about things. It makes you 
wonder at everything. And it is a stunning, stunning deck. Um, so, yeah, that is my, um, what do you call it? What are we doing here? <laughs> seven Deadly Sins right there. My sedly, Seven Deadly Sins. This deck is, I love it. This is one of my new favorites. But, yeah, that's uh, my Seven Deadly Sins right there. I know there was more than seven, but don't really care. Um, that's my thoughts. If you guys have any of these decks, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification button so you're alerted to any future videos. And you guys have a good night. Bye.